this yeah. seems like a chaotic video, that's because it is. Uh, the entire carcass is in here. See, I'm a positive person. I got it half right. And all the all the yucky stuff. Wait a minute, we're blurry. Hold on here. Let me turn around where I can see what I'm shooting at here. This is what we're doing on Thanksgiving. Oh, I just stuck my finger through the turkey rib. <sighs> She has bad breath, doesn't she? They didn't see that. <laughs> I cleaned the camera lens. Hi everybody, welcome back. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. We are getting the turkey out right now. We have a huge, okay, he is getting the turkey out. Thank you. We have a huge turkey for the four of us. My parents are here. I'm gonna make bone broth out of all of the leftover turkey. It's gonna go in the roaster and cook for a couple days. And I thought I'd take you along on that journey. Yep, we'll, we'll be there. There's the turkey. And he is going to try to put all of that. Ready? Set? Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. He's going to pick the bird up and put it in the roaster pan. And yep. then cut it from there. We're going to... And it's falling apart. Well, we knew that would happen. Just Ugh. get it in there. There we go. Good job. That's, yeah. It's almost all in there. camera's falling apart. Did you get it? You got it? You got it? All right. Ugh. So we're going to slice this. Rob, we. Rob. Rob is going to slice this up, get the stuffing out. I'm going to make gravy out of all that goodness. And then we are going to go eat. And we'll get back with you. I'll get back with you on the, the broth that we're going to make. And then we're going to can this broth. Dinner is over, and dinner was very, very good. Rob is now cleaning out the carcass. He's trying picking to... Picking him clean. <laughs> He's picking him clean. Or her, or whoever it was. I don't know. We didn't choose the gender of our turkey, did we? No, we didn't argue about the gender. Okay. I don't really care. Well, we've got a bag going here no, with Grammy. I'm going to pick it through something. Now, I'm going to add... I'm going to pick through this better because we need to get out all of the stuffing as much as we can but i'm gonna leave all of this in here fill it with water and and get it going when you make bone broth we're making like a bone stock broth i guess you could call it that you want to get all the stuffing out you want to get all the bread out so the center rob's been picking that out as he goes to this is what we're doing on thanksgiving but it ought to be good let me show you what Rob did with my canning jars because I was getting a lot of canning jars and I really don't have a lot of space. Look over there how pretty that is. That's a shoe rack <laughs> but it works. Some of the canning my canning jars I have at my parents house too in their basement. I have quite a few of them over there but these are the ones that you know we'll, we'll be using. To this broth that I'm making I'm gonna add celery, carrots, and some vegetables, some onion peels. Onion peels make the broth a richer color. I've been saving like vegetables frozen that I'm just going to throw in there. I'm in, I'm in the way. I'm walking around, I'm in the way. I've been doing the dishes and these two have been picking. Okay, let's go ask my dad if he liked Thanksgiving dinner. Wait a minute, we're blurry. Oh yes, I enjoyed Thanksgiving dinner. I tried to make... Well, it was good. I tried making um, my grandma, his mother's stuffing. I half got it. It's a German stuffing with potatoes in it. I'm not sure that's German. Yeah, it's German. I did Google. I did I did some research on the Maybe Google. You learned it from my dad's mother. And where was your dad's mother from? Sandusky. And then from Sandusky. Yeah, well, they were. I'm not sure if she was German or not. I would say her husband was. So that's it's a German recipe. I did I I looked on I looked in the Google. I'm gonna make a video on that on the stuffing that we had. I got it half right. I, I did get it half right. That's an optimist. That's what? An optimist. Got it half right. An optimist. Yeah, I'm an optimist. See, I'm a positive person. I got it half right. Got it half wrong too. I got it half wrong. <laughs> He would say I got it half wrong. I'd say I got it half right. <laughs> that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. He says that's correct. So I'm gonna make her. I'll make a. I'm gonna make a video on how to make that. 
because I think I'll get it right next time. I actually need to use Rob's grinder when I do it. The grinder that we use to do his deer meat when he gets a deer. So, all right, I'm going to I'm gonna help him along here and then uh, we'll get back with you. All right, now we're wet, ready for the broth. We've got the kitchen mostly cleaned up. Now I want to show you what I have going so far. The entire turkey carcass is, is in this pan. I've got some celery that I had frozen is in here. Let me uh, give you a look-see. The entire carcass is in here and Rob picked out as much as he possibly could of the bread, the stuffing. We're, I'm going to fill this up with water to about here. Also, to this, I'm going to add this. This is, I've been simmering the neck and all the, all the yucky stuff that you pull out of the center of the turkey. Of, yeah. That's all going to go in there. We're just going to keep adding stuff. I have dehydrated carrots over here. I thought, I'm, what the heck, I'm going to try. Put some in there. Why not, right? Why not? Yeah, I'm going to try. Right now I have one onion I'm going to put in here. It's a little confusing around my house right now, okay? I forgot to make the sweet potatoes. I found those. I did find those. You want to hold this camera, please? Hold on here. I'm turning around where I can see what I'm shooting at here. Okay. Onion skins. I have the onion skins I'm going to add. I'm going to cut the onion up and just put the whole thing in there. Not. I'll cut this off the bottom. Tomorrow, I might go get some more yellow onions just so I can have the skins because the skins is what makes the, the broth darker. And that that's what we want. I'm going to cook this on right around 300 for about for three days. Three days and three nights this is going to cook. It ought to be yummy. And we'll check on it throughout the, uh, throughout the day throughout my three days and three nights we'll do that and see how it's going and at the very end don't worry we're going to strain it so we don't have any bones or anything we're just going to have juicy good broth all right i'm going to have rob put water in this for me and uh, he could probably take it at the sink and carry it better than i can he's going to fill it with water we've got a lot going on today in this kitchen but this ought to be really good. That's brilliant. I would have stood there and tried to hold the thing. He's got it sitting on the, on the sink. He, he moved it. He, he moved it the faucet over and good job. This ought to be really good. I'm not adding any salt or pepper. I'm not adding anything but some vegetables and, and the bones. Your kitchen, your rolls, you put in there whatever you want. All right, this is what we have so far. You just put in there whatever you want. It's your broth, put it in whatever you want. We're gonna cook it for three days, like I said. But I have garlic here with the skins. I think I'm just gonna throw the, I'm just gonna throw the cloves of garlic in there. Cause why not? Oh, I love garlic, so you know what? There, we're just going to throw some garlic and the garlic skins in there. Well, that's probably good. I don't want to over garlic it either, but whatever you want to put in there. Now, I have dehydrated carrots. Or, yeah, these are carrots. It's been day. Carrots, I have dehydrated carrots. Yeah, let's put some of those in there too. I'm going to sit you on the coffee pot. That works out. That's, per oh, that's perfect. Okay. Carrots. These are the hydrated carrots, as, as I've said. I'm tired. We rearranged the living room, and we did all the things today. So why not? Let's just add some of these. Oh, they're so pretty, aren't they? Aren't those pretty? They're just pretty. So we'll just throw them in there. Just throw whatever you want. Just throw it in there. I just threw them all in there. So we'll let it cook 
before. He can, but he doesn't. Before I go to bed, I'll stir it. Oh, uh, tomorrow we'll look at this again, and if I need to add more water, I'll add some more water to this. But remember, if you do your turkey with stuffing in it, make sure you get as much stuffing out as you possibly can. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and just throw your, I mean, how easy is this? This is what you do with your leftover turkey. Looks good to me. Now, if I had some peppercorns, I would put a few peppercorns in here, too, because I like those. Yeah, but I'm not going to salt it or anything until tomorrow. Oh, I just stuck my finger through that turkey rib. <sighs> All right, I'm not going to... Um, my hands are clean. I'm playing in the soup with, with my hands. I'm playing in the bone broth with, with my uh, my fingers. Tomorrow, we'll be back. We'll check, it th we'll check this out and see how it's going. If this seems like a chaotic video, that's because it is. We're all trying to clean the kitchen and I'm trying to get this done and Rob was cutting the the turkey up and I... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's been about 20 hours. My house smells like turkey. It smells like turkey, it does. Let me show you this. Look how amazing this looks. The turkey, the bones, I mean, the whole carcass is dissipated. It, it, or, I don't know. Oh, here it is, right here. The whole carcass is right. That's the main part of it. So the ribs and things are floating in here somewhere. I've never done this before. But I'll tell you, it does smell. Oh, there's a look at. There's a leg. So we're gonna let this go a couple more days. There's the onions. But wow, wow. We're gonna have some good broth. I'm gonna be able to can some nice broth. This is set on about 250. If I go higher than that, it boils, and I don't want it to boil. I just want it to be hot and just cook. So yeah, it looks really good. It smells okay. It smells, there's a heavy scent of turkey in my house. I woke up this morning smelling turkey. And I'm like, what, what? Oh, oh, then I remembered that I did this. So yeah. All right, we'll check in on it again. I'm gonna go hunting right now with Rob. Ooh, yay. Um, but we'll check on this maybe tomorrow. I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. But it's looking really good. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's day three. We're on day three of the broth and I wanted to show you what it looked like. Let me go get a spin. Wait till you see the heavenly goodness that this broth made. This has been three days and three nights cooking. There's all the bones in there and celery carrots and I think that's garlic. I put garlic in there and an onion. I did put that in there. I've never done this before so this is going to be interesting. I want to strain this and I'm not quite sure how to go about doing this. If we're going to figure it out we're going to wing it. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to sit you on top of my KitchenAid. We're going to strain the broth. That's what we're going to do. We're going to strain the broth because in the next video I'm going to can the broth. But this is just how to make, I wouldn't call it actually bone broth. It is bone broth, but there's some vegetables in there. So it's like a bone stock broth. But it's your kitchen. Whatever you want to put in it, you can. Whatever you like, put in there. Oh no!